Right, let's have a look, shall we? Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This one has been requested so many times over the years by a <coughs> very um, vocal minority. Mm -hmm. um, hard Edge. Let's go for English, I think. Yes, we shall confirm our choice. We're emulating this via Duck Station. And I know absolutely nothing really about this game at all. Our communications for the basement of the Togusa building in Sector 8 are being jammed by radio signal. Units 1 and 2 have been out of contact for the last five minutes. I see. Well, they're on their own now. It's me. Alex! You the only one left? I don't know. I'm the only one who made it from our unit. <laughs> so you managed to survive, huh? You deserve a reward. <laughs> oh dear what <laughs> what what have you got me into here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> who are these characters what what are they wearing what's going on Ah, professionals, right, okay, so, um, <clears throat> I know it's a Resident Evil-esque, kind of, but not really, shooting, beat -em up thing, um, we're apparently trapped in a building with terrorists, everyone's been killed or cut off from everybody else, and we're on our own, um, we have a highly professional woman who's wearing whatever the fuck she found on her floor this morning uh, called Michelle and Alex who looks like a Final Fantasy 7 era reject um this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> i'm i'm already all in on this so uh we've got options we can have the sound in stereo we can have it in mono we can have it we, whoa we can turn the voice acting on or off yeah yeah i'm surprised more games of the time didn't have that option but uh then maybe if they did maybe resident evil wouldn't have been <laughs> the meme it is um anyway okay so we're gonna leave all of that on uh, vibration on actually vibration never works on these emulators i don't know why um okay game start so you know everything about the game that i do in fact you probably know more about the game than i do and is this just gonna be the same intro again I guess, yeah, this is just the same intro again. Okay. 
so we have Squaresoft Alex and I don't even know Michelle, look. what the hell Michelle looks like. Where are we? Sounds like Ada. Inside the Togusa building. Seems we're the only ones who made it here from the basement. I'll make them pay for what they did to our people. Our first priority is rescuing Professor Howard, not revenge, Michelle. Yeah, I know. Glad we got the that SOS cleared up. The from the professor came from the 26th floor of this building. Let's see if we can get up there. So we're trying to get a professor from the 26th floor of the building and here we go we start so d-pad moves us around which is nice x button makes us run uh i guess r2 cycles us through healing items ah looks like we have different types of ammo i guess 300 rounds of ap armor piercing i guess and heat high explosives i guess and we can turn our interface on and off with uh, L2. R2 cycles through healing. Okay. Cool. No analog support. Which is fine. Whoa. So, square fires. Circle does nothing that I'm aware of. Triangle also does nothing. Start is our map. Oh, keep firing away bullets. Select is our menu. Look at Alex, man. What the hell? Rachel? Uh, not sure what's going on with... Oh, Michelle. Oh, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel is another character. Oh, hang on. So we've got first aid tube times six and a blue EX. 20 point life life total boost. What does that do? And 100 point life. Does that give us extra health? Is that apparent? Right, that gives us permanent health boost, apparently. Which is curious. Burns. Do we want to be saving these? So it gives us a boost to our health, but it doesn't actually heal us. That's kind of interesting. So, I guess... So we don't have any info. Can we change characters on the fly then? Arms, high frequency blade. And he has a M727ST custom. All right, Alex's personal gun. Sure. Uh, option. Right, that's just the same. And key, we have no keys. And um, we have no item. Okay. Right. So. Okay, so uh, one thing that I was told from you guys as well is apparently you don't get any extra weapons until you've completed the game once. So what weapons we start with now, they're the only weapons we have, but there are multiple characters in this game. Looks like Michelle is close combat and Alex is, Alex has a gun apparently. Alright, well let's start exploring, shall we? I'm sure one of these buttons opens the door. It is the circle button. Okay. I don't know what there's going to be in the range of... Ooh, an exhaust duct. Okay, so circle also searches things. It has, speci it has a special lock on it. Right. This game feels a lot stiffer to play than uh, Resident Evil, but that's okay. There are emergency stairs beyond this point. 
But I still have time. I best see what's in the lobby first. Right, so let's all go to the lobby, I guess. Whoa, is there like different combos? In this? Okay, so we can like double tap forwards. Yeah, if we double tap forwards, we can do like a charge attack thing. Okay. Definitely multiple attacks. Now, you can't speed up the scrolling of the text by the look of things, so whenever we examine something, it's going to be a very slow uh, experience. That's fine. Hey, what was that yellow red light thing? What's this? I've never seen this kind of machine in an office building before. Well, we're kind of in the maintenance sort of hallway, but okay. So I'm not really sure what sort of enemies we're going to have. I guess terrorists of some description. Oh, the music's changed. Oh, whoa. Okay. What the hell is that? What the hell are those? They... They look like big, cartoony, playful robots. Whoa, okay. They look really friendly and playful. Is it just me? Probably just me, but they look really happy to see us. Okay. Oh, right, so they can hit in kind of like a wide arc. Oh, God. Whoa, yeah, looks like a very wide arc kind of attack pattern. That's okay. I mean, I don't know what these things are. Some kind of robotic guard droid, which is really cute. They actually look really friendly. Like, if we'd asked nicely, he probably would have tied our shoelaces for us, but that's okay. I'm sure Michelle can tie her in shoelaces. Um, I mean, I guess you shouldn't assume these things, but okay, okay. Let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. Now, what have we got going on here? Now, I don't... Oh, the door is locked. I'll be... Oh, I don't... Yeah, we better off looking somewhere else. Okay, so the fact that the text scrolls very slowly is questionable. Found a blue EX bottle. Cool, I guess. What exactly is a blue... Ah! I like the map. That is a very good map. Very, very good map. Right, item. Oh, we found another one of these. Let's give it to Michelle. Because apparently enemies do a decent amount of damage. We search this. Oh, so this is a save station. Probably a good idea to drop a save down. So we're in the lobby. All right. Let's go kill some terrorists who apparently have robots. What the hell was... Yeehaw. That was the yeehaw attack. Yeehaw. Okay, cool. So apparently we can do that by pushing down X and square at the same time. Right, so items. Not really sure. I guess just search everything. Can we go up here? Probably go up the lift, surely. The lift's going to do anything at all for us. No. Oh, yep. You just have to be on the right pixel, which is going to be problematic. Alex. Looks like the elevator's working. That or the emergency stairs at the back are the only ways up. Okay. I'll bet there's a trap in one of them. Yeah, let's split up for now. Oh, we have choices. Uh, who will go up the elevator? Uh, let's send Alex. I'll take the elevator. You take the stairs. Okay. Any problems? I'll be on the radio. Be careful. Yes, boss. All right, SquareSoft. I'll see you later. I guess we're gonna go behind. And go up those stairs that we saw earlier. Or are we just 
gonna be Alex now? Okay, I, I guess we're just gonna be Alex now. Cool. I don't know if we can um, change characters whenever we want. I guess we'll find out. I kind of like playing as Michelle, actually. He's a kind of close combat beat -em up style. That was fun. Oh, well, at least this way we get to test out Alex and see what he's like. I mean, he has a gun, so that's a thing. And didn't we need to get to... Right, let's just try something. I guess the S is a save room. <laughs> Wait. So we we can switch at any point. How interesting. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, let's play as Alex for now. Right. So yeah. Oh, Alex can kick an ass or two up close too. Jesus. All right, wasn't expecting that. All right, well, we've made our decision, so do we really need to save the game again? Probably not. Let's explore. We've got a couple of different options on where to go. Uh, I don't know, like, is there going to be items just everywhere laying around? I'm not sure. Oops. I'm going to run out of ammo by me just blasting it all. I like the music. Oh. Whoa, hang on. Right. So we've got evasive maneuvers forward and back. That. Oh, that move is hurting us. I didn't realize that. All right, that's bad. That's really bad. What's in the pirate door? Let's check the pirate door out. Still no bad necks. Hmm. There's a switch. Press it. Sure. You ever known a switch in these games to be bad? Ooh. Oh, 14. Whoa, we've got a time. Got a time limit to pick this item up. Uh, pick it up. That's interesting. Found floor key. So we've got that's for like floor 25, I guess. All right. More square soft characters. Oof. Where is it? I'm telling you, I don't know. Too bad for you then. Um she <laughs> Okay. <laughs> People who lie really get on my nerves. Jesus. She's like got some Wolverine claws. Just murdered that woman. And she's got to shake her ass as she goes. Right, so guessing one of the bosses? Question mark? Alright. Well, I hadn't actually finished exploring in there, but sure. So... I was guessing they were going to be two more main characters. I mean, kind of, almost, sort of. Oh, one of them might be. The other one's a little bit dead. You know, because she's got sliced in half. What's an, What's this an image of? It's showing a huge vehicle. Alright, oh, I don't know. Something's written on the whiteboard. Points for company presentation. Okay. Oh no. Okay, can actually fast forward those bits. 
which is nice. Found blue EX bottle. There's a lot of office equipment here. Right, okay, so I think we're just gonna have to like run around and So Bernie Winchell Tannis Newman Librarian. So these people Okay, there's a bulletin post up. We're gonna have to search everything by the look of things. There's a bulletin post posted up, okay. There are a number of magazines, probably for reference. Files arranged according to the country. Looks like a customer directory, alright? What about these computers? This desk tidy? Just like the stars office. There are cake crumbs littered around the desk. Is that the woman that just sliced the other woman's pieces? Not Wolverine. There's a note stuck to the chair. I'll be waiting at the park around three. Bucky. Okay. So not Wolverine. Could she have been eating cake? Maybe. She's got the equipment. There's a row of desks. This is a tidy one. All right. Well, that one had a flashing orange light on it. There are lots of memos scattered around. Join the department softball team. Ugh, no thanks. Nothing that's going to help with the mission. Right? Now what's this? Looks like some kind of card reader or something. Something's written on the whiteboard. Okay. So even things like Resident Evil was somewhat obvious with its uh, placement of items. You know, things would really try and draw your attention, kind of like that thing over there in the corner, I guess. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a little bit sneakier, I think. I really like the chunky graphics. It's got that early PlayStation chunk to it, and it's not actually an early PlayStation game. It's actually like 1999. Ooh, there she is. Can we do anything with her? One of the unfortunate researchers. There's something on the floor. Is it her blood? A coin. Found a medal. Alright, well, thanks for the medal. We'll be taking that. Um, with... Yeah, okay. She must have a big ass or something because we got stuck on one of her cheeks. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. This is some kind of medical bay, apparently. Does that mean there's going to be health items here? Found a first aid pill. A first aid pill? Okay, well at least they're being some... Oh, for fuck's sake. Being at least somewhat original. First aid tube. Alright, so that gives us 50 health. Might as well chug that now then, I suppose. Because we've been wasting all of our own health. Which is... Rather stupid. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm gonna run around spamming the search button. Ooh. There's a metal badge. Pick it up? Sure, I guess. 52. Picked up a metallic badge. Okay. I was expecting... It's a very well equipped for just an office surgery. Are we gonna have zombies? Is this gonna be a... Is this a zombie game? kind of would like that. Found a blue EX bottle. We're finding there's some heavy books here. All medical references. Okay. There's some um, there's a lot of these bloody EX bottles, which is good. So I'm guessing, looking at the menu screen, there's going to be four characters we can select, which is interesting. <clears throat> Alright, well, I mean, let's just keep going, I guess. Very difficult to open doors and pick items up. I don't know why. Oh! Hello. How do we... Okay, gun is good. I don't know why there was a green man there, but we killed... Ooh. Ah, so we can pick up bullets from enemies. Okay. That was going to be a question of mine. Where do we get more ammo from? But I guess we don't have to worry about that now got another door there. We don't know if enemies come back. Oh, hello. There's a 
bizarre man walking around. Looks like something out of Turtles. Right, there has to be. Right, okay. So yeah, you can aim at enemies. It's not great. Not sure why this guy is slowly walking towards a man that's pointing a gun down his throat, but I mean, whatever, I guess. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's apparently an enemy. Who knew? Thought it might have been a pickup. Thanks, game. Well, let's go kill this guy trying to be Sam Fisher around the corner. Snake! Oh, what have we got going on in here? Used floor key. Oh, well, hang on. Let's not be so hasty. Okay. There's a lot of explodey things in there I'm wagering. Now, do enemies come back? Yeah, I mean, at least not so far. Okay, the music is very mellow. It's an automatic door, but there's no power getting through. Okay. Fair enough. So, we can go through here. It's not possible to open the door from this side. Right. So we're going to link that up later on then. Alright, well, I guess we are going to go through here then. And see what happens on the other side. Yeah, they're explosives. They kind of look like explosives. That looks like a zombie liquor man wearing pants. At the top of the screen there. Oh god, what the hell is that about? So we can dodge whilst we're shooting. Ah. Okay. Can't, we can lock onto that guy through there, but we can't shoot him apparently. Alright, so whilst we're shooting, we can double tap to dodge. Okay. Hey, Tormented Souls, that is a back dodge, that is a forward dodge, that is a back dodge, that is a forward dodge, Tormented Souls, take notes, okay, I like it, and it seems to work pretty well too, uh, stop firing bullets, there are tools used to sort out documents, here machines are man- Managering the document. They're managing the documents. Well, good. I'm glad our documents are being managed. Okay, I don't know how. How did I do that? Right, so you hold up. Hold up, and you can attack. Um, push down and push fire, and you can do another shot. I need to download the manual for this game, I think. And we don't want to do that because that hurts. Alright. So we've got some more mutant liquor guys. That's okay. A couple of shots send these guys packing backwards. So that's fine. Oh, sir. Try harder. I don't know what that is there. Pick it up, please. Pick it up. Thank you. There are some slides. Take them. Uh, yeah. Guess. Picked up slides. It's a very slow game. Oh, hi. Hey. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, three shots. Stuns him. Wait for him to get back up. Finish him off with another two shots, I guess. Not sure why they just... Oh, ammo. Not sure why they just disappear into nothing once they've been killed. Hardware limitations, most likely. But, okay. Okay. Wild leaflets sorted chronologically. That makes sense. We do like our leaflets filed chronologically. There are books on technical developments. So we do have like zombie creature monster things. Newspaper cutting in between the books. Oh, so we have documents, I guess. Garland rocket launch, a success. The satellite will attempt to combat the growing problem of space debris. That is becoming a problem. Been reading about that. The recovery and disposal of which is the rocket's mission. 
collision with space debris was the cause of a civilian space shuttle accident two years ago in which 256 people aboard were killed. Four people, including a 12-year-old girl, uh, miraculously survived the crash. They survived a crash with a space shuttle. Okay. Good, good, good for them. I guess that's pretty impressive. September 30, the first Garland rocket was successfully launched from the State Space Center at 7.31. I guess that's time. Last night, the rocket is carrying a plasma gun module which will be installed in the Garland system satellite, now under construction in orbit in space. The success of the rocket launch will herald the final stage of the satellite's construction. Okay. Oh, we found a newspaper cutting. Experiment data sorted by topic. So this is some kind of space researchy place. All right. I get the feeling we're going to be missing an awful lot of items as well because it's it is oh, we get stuck on stuff too. Uh, nothing is highlighted, which is a potential problem. Are we actually on thirty two minutes here? So. I guess we can't go back that way. I'm guessing we can't go that way. There was a save room here somewhere, wasn't there? Let's check our very detailed map. Right, so... Ah, that's... Office D is highlighted. Right, it even tells us what the rooms are. Uh, well, I mean, at least it tells you, I guess, the important rooms. That's awfully convenient. Right, let's go back to the save room. If there's any more enemies that have appeared. No, it doesn't look like it. Because we haven't been all the way back. Ah, oh, actually, I say we haven't been all the way back here. I guess the only thing that's really all the way back here is a uh, save spot. Ooh, what's this? 25. Can we read that? I guess not. I guess that's just explaining that we're on the 25th floor. But we have another door there that we can go through. So I guess when we come back, guys, yeah, it's very hard to click on stuff very difficult it takes about four or five attempts which is interesting and apparently although circle is yes to everything else it backs you out of the save place so it's x to save right okay so first impressions of this game uh <laughs> i like it i really like this i have a feeling um, I mean, it's early days yet. I've played half an hour. It's chunky. You expect that. It's fine. It looks nice enough. The combat so far seems to work. Um, seems to be a hell of a lot of button combinations that you can actually do in regards to combat that the game doesn't tell you, which you need the manual for, I guess, which, you know, makes sense. But then even as kids, who the hell read the manuals anyway? Uh, I did, actually. I used to, whenever I used to get a new game, if I rented it, if I went with my dad to read the, to rent the game or whatever, I would read the manual on the way back uh, in the hype to actually play the game. And whenever I got new games, and this is something that I've totally forgotten about until now, I'm just literally thinking about it. When uh, we used to get new games, we would take our instruction manuals into school the next day and we'd read them on break and stuff like that so actually who read instruction manuals uh this guy apparently and that's a little memory unlocked that i'd completely forgotten about until now so yeah i think i'm gonna have fun with this one i might get a guide on standby just in case we get really lost because if I have a feeling this is going to be a, a bit of a cryptic one, especially when it comes to items and stuff. I mean, it looks like key items are fairly well highlighted, but buttons to push, ammo, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, not ammo, but health items. Yeah, I can see that being a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.